true which actually thank you to be honest impacts you the most of all the stories we've picked up today this is the one that hurts your pocket so the reserve bank of india's monetary policy committee raised its key lending rate that's the repo rate by 35 basis points today 100 basis points makes a percentage so 0.35% hike in um, uh, interest rates was made today in all since may interest rates have been hiked by 2.25% why does this matter to you because any loan that you take and home loans get hit the most will get even more expensive they've already gotten about 60 70 basis points um dearer in the last few months meanwhile fd rates also go up but they're not going up to the same extent as home loan rates let me give you a quick example a home loan rate is about 8% right now if you take a fresh home loan on an fd you will get best case scenario about 6 6.1% for a 5 year loan so it's going to be difficult for people how do you deal with this especially if you're a salaried employee you have a emi to pay on your home your car your credit card it's going to pinch how do you deal with it pv subramaniam author and personal finance expert and founder subramani.com is with me on the show i'm also speaking with harsh rungta uh, founder fee only investment today um let me go across to you mr rungta first what does uh, what is the advice for people especially those who have home loans right now uh, i mean uh, it affects two kinds of people right people who have already borrowed and people who will borrow now right in for people who have already borrowed and let's say they have taken a home loan for 15 or 20 years sure the rate hike affects them because their home loan rates will go up but remember that in most cases the emi remains exactly the same so it does not they just increase the tenure in most cases uh, and therefore on the cash flow front it may not impact you you will have to pay loan for longer but please remember interest rates are plus and minus so afterwards as and when the interest rate cycle turns and hopefully this time around the interest rates will actually go down as well uh, for the borrowers that may contract back so effectively there may not be any visible impact on existing home loan borrowers simply because of the uh, way in which but but, but mr rungta let me let me understand this correctly if you are a new borrower and you've taken a loan in the last 4 or 5 years you are typically first paying your interest component before you've even touched your principal if this is the time when your interest rates have been going up you've not even chipped away into your principal amount if you check your principal is still very much the same your outstanding is not dipped despite you paying that money so isn't that a clear hit uh again i mean when you pay an equated monthly installment sure the principal component will be low interest component will be high but there is no i mean that's how it is when your loan amount is higher your interest component is higher uh, so at the end of 5 years sure what has happened you're still paying the same cash now instead of the balance 15 years you probably have got 17 years 18 years right emi continues to be the same at the end yeah, of 7th year 8th year it will start coming back so i think if it is not affecting your cash flow it does not have an immediate impact Okay. okay i'm not saying there is no impact for okay. new borrowers people who are going to take the loan now it impacts the amount of loan they can get for the same amount of income mm. and to that much extent their affordability for buying a home uh, comes down their down payment will have to uh, go up and, and to that much extent it affects uh, them uh, very much also also affects. remember depending on your age there is a limit to how much you can extend that tenure after what oh, yes. you probably cannot mr subramaniam is also with us um you know your take today on what can aam janta do and how does consequent interest rate hikes at the end of the day eat into the pocket tamanna so, i have a very very contrarian view i think if you have guts you should go and borrow now <laughs> why Let's see why what is happens. that lesser people will be borrowing which means it becomes a little bit of a buyers market the uh, the builder is going to be worried are mera to mal bikega nahi he'll start throwing some sops 
for you, right? So that's a good time to be buying, knowing fully well that US will have to reduce rates at some stage. And at some stage, Shakti Kanta Das will also have to reduce rates. Will it happen in three months, six months, nine months? We do not know, but we know it will happen. So when you're making a 30-year commitment, don't worry about next six months, what is going to happen because interest rates will come down also. So I would be a contrarian. I would go and buy real estate if good deals are available. And why will good deals be available? Because lesser number of people will be buying. When people see the EMI amount, they get scared. Remember, in 2025, you could be paying a lesser EMI. So if you have the guts, take a contrarian view, go and take a loan, buy a house. Okay, so if that's, you have decided to buy a house. That's that from the perspective of someone who's looking to buy a house. What about someone who's already got an EMI, someone who already has a variety of, say, loans where they're paying interest rates, and on the other hand, also have saving opportunities? What would be your formula for them, Mr. Subramaniam? I would still say go and save because see, understand one thing when equity, when interest rates go up, no, immediately bond prices come down. Maybe some other asset prices will also come down. But if interest rates remain high for a pretty long period of time, then the asset prices also start going up. So if you have, uh, if you're young, just go on, pay your EMI, but also continue your investing. Don't worry too much. But if you've got two years to go for retirement and three years to go for retirement, maybe you repay some of the loan faster. Ultimately, Tamanna, uh, money is about very personal relationship. You know, some people are very happy saying, Mera loan khatam ho gaya. and some people will say, oh, look, I've got only two years CTC or three years CTC lying as a loan. I'm very comfortable. It's an extremely personal thing. Uh, so some people will not borrow, but if you're borrowed, I don't think you should worry. Unless you have a cash flow problem, then maybe you should redeem some investments and uh, repay the loan, but otherwise just continue. So are you saying in the larger picture, and that was Harsh Rungta's point, that in the larger picture it will even out, uh, that the interest rate cycle will turn sooner than later, especially if you have a long tenure of a loan, 15, 20 years? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you if the cash flow, like uh, if the cash flow is not a problem, pay it. If the cash flow is a problem, maybe withdraw something from your PF or PPF and reduce the loan because you have a cash flow crisis. Otherwise, don't bother. If you're if you're very comfortable, if all your EMIs put together is less than 30% of your take-home pay, be comfortable, be paying it. But yes, if you have a look at look at a young person, if he has a problem, his wife has got pregnant and she's got leave, she's taken two years leave. So that cash flow is not there. If you have some temporary issues like mm. that, then maybe redeem some assets and uh, pay off the loan. Otherwise, just li let life continue. 2025, we will be having this discussion saying, oh, interest rates have started going down. So I don't think. Okay, so another at least another two years, another two years of interest rate pain no, 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 coming it could in. Be Jan to Jan 2025 is not really two years okay, away. It's so, okay, another year, year. Another year of interest rate pain. Yeah. Uh, till then, uh, maybe enjoy what you're getting, getting in fixed deposits, but see the difference of what you get in fixed deposit versus what you have to pay for loans. Uh, thank you so much, PV Subramaniam and Harsh Rukta for joining us today. We'll take a very short break, but stay tuned. A lot more coming up on the other side.